Hashtag say it, don't spray it. Here he comes. Mr. Flaps himself. Ooh, how many instruments have you gotten so far? I mean, you know, mate, you've been stalking me. When you play the instruments in front of the egg, the wind fish will wake and you will leave this island. Now you must hasten to the Yarna Desert. The dark, monstrous inhabitants of the sand will show you the way. Creep. Do 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 that bush over there looks really suspicious. Bush. <laughs> I said bush. Grow up, Kim. Grow up. Uh, never! I'll never grow up. I'm gonna be 35 this year, guys. What are you supposed to do when you're 35? I don't feel 35. <laughs> Mudkip dude says, is there a reason to wake the moonfish? Yes, because I can't escape the island if the moonfish ow, uh, is asleep. The moonfish? The windfish. God, kid. Get it right. Get it right. <laughs> no, don't let you kill me. Ow. Jerk. When is my birthday? My birthday is the 15th of December. No one ever remembers because A, it's Christmas and now it's Jingle Jam. Woe is me! Ooh. A little heart too. Oh, that means I get another heart. Yay! Yay! Yeah, originally no one remembered it was my birthday because it was Christmas coming up. And so all the restaurants are like full and all the activities are really expensive. And everyone's like, I'm saving money for Christmas because I'm spending all my presents on my family. Stupid family. And then, ow. And then now that I'm involved in the Yogg's cast and it's Jingle Jam, everyone's like, yay, Jingle Jam. And that's it. Rip anyone who has a birthday in December. It's the worst. Holy crap. Although at least it's not as bad as my friend whose birthday is actually the 25th of December. Blah. Worst! Kill me. <laughs> Mudkip Dude says, you should do a birthday thing on Jingle Jam. Be warned, it may end up like the hat birthdays. Nope. I did do a birthday thing. If you remember, like, a couple of years ago, um, Duncan and I did um, a birthday stream. We played Mario Kart. And, uh, like, our, our donation goals were basically that you had to donate, get us to, like, a certain charity target. And uh, only then was I allowed to open my presents from Duncan. Do you remember? I remember that. I remember. I remember. I remember. And his present to me was... Um oh, crap. Yeah, I need to do that. Um, his present to me was um, a little Totoro, um, like a wooden box with um, origami paper in it. And I still have that box. I use it to put my rings in. My uh, my wedding rings. It's a very sweet gift. Very sweet gift. Yeah. That Duncan, he can be all right when he wants to be. I remember the cake too. Yeah, like that, that cake. Holy crap! We don't talk about that cake. I think half of that cake is still in the bottom of my oven, just like burnt to the bottom of it. Yep. Right, we're going over here because I want to get that heart piece. I can't leave it there. It's taunting me. In the hole. In the hole. The, th the thing that pissed me off about Duncan and his heart cake, his heart cake, his rainbow cake, was that he then went away and made an amazing one for Lewis, who doesn't appreciate cake. Whoops. Um, and he managed to make an absolutely perfect one. And then I just got the really stupid flat one that looked burnt and red and tasted like buttholes. And there was Lewis just not appreciating the finer thing that he got in life there. Honestly. And Duncan was like, well, I, d I didn't know if you wanted to be in the video. And I was like, what, what about me indicates that I wouldn't want to be in a video where you actually make a proper cake? Hmm? Do you even know me? 
So there we go. Uh, right. Where are we going? We're going. We need to go. I might try and go to the Seashell, seashell Mansion. And um, see if I've got any new rewards. But also, I might try and go to that Animal Farm. Uh, might try and go to Animal Village. Because Animal Village is the best. And I now have the thing that means I can run across the, um, the gap. Ugh. I love the music in this game. I think I've, I've been to a couple of, um... Uh, symphonic, like Legend of Zelda Symphonics in London with the uh, Philharmonic Orchestra. Loved it. So I've been to a couple of those and I've been to a couple of the Final Fantasy ones. Right, let's see. Where are we up to? Oh, come on. we got to light up that one. There we go. Got one at least. Oh man, it's going to be a big jump to the next one. What do I get? What present do I get? What the hell? A seashell shrentor. It'll let you know when there's a seashell nearby. Well, that's helpful at least. God, we're gonna need so many. If that was, what, 10? What am I up to? 15. 50, yeah, we're gonna need a lot more. Seashell, seashell shrentor is on a seashore. Correct. Right, does anyone remember where that hole was? Specifically the one that takes me to Animal Farm. Animal Village. I've got to stop calling it Animal Farm. Jesus Christ, Kim. It's a completely different thing. Completely different thing. Tuning fork for the instruments as well, I know, right? Ugh, go away! Horrible little spider things. Ugh. Is that my skin crawl? Is it down here? Yeah, it was down here. Go away. There is a heart down in that hole, but I can't get to it because I'm a scrub who can't swim. Look, can you see? Just down, down where that fishy is. There's an art there. Get away from you. Am I in? No, I'm in Martha's Bay. Yeah. Welcome to Animal Village! Here we go! Ah! It's a bunny rabbit! Oh, it's such a nice day. We need a song from Marin. Oh my god. They've actually made it a little dog box and cat mouse. Milo, where are you? Your people are singing. Oh, he's licking his unmentionables. Uh. <laughs> Did you know Animal Village and maybe Villager Sister Cities? Well, they're not really cities, they're village. Yeah, there we go. They're not even large enough to be called cities. They have a dream shrine and maybe and I heard something good inside. Is that true? It is actually. I forgot to check that out. Ugh. Oh my giddy aunt. So I have a theory that this is actually where Animal Crossing first began. Where is your seashell? There is a seashell in here. You don't know the proper etiquette when dealing with a lady, do you? You should have brought flowers or something. Then I might be more inclined to talk with you. Oh yes, in my case, hibiscus are best. Oh yeah, you need hibiscus and then you'll talk to me. And then I think she gives me a letter to give to Mr. Wright. And then Mr. Wright gives me a broom, which I give to the grandmother. And then I can't remember what she gives me. Trading sequence! <sighs> Trading sequence. What? Oh, so one of the things, I, if I remember, the, so the end of the trading sequence, you get a mirror. 
that makes you see things. So I'll be able to see whoever the hell is sitting there. Can't see them right now. It's just a spooky ghost. So we'll come back and see them. We'll come back and see them. Do, 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 do. Oh god, this music's gonna be in my head forever. Forever. Forever and ever. There's a... What the hell? That doesn't look anything like what you're painting! <laughs> Shul Donovich. Yeah, I am Shul Donovich. The mermaid statue by the bay is my masterpiece. <laughs> to tell you the truth, that work is not complete. The art is difficult for you to grasp, is it not? Thanks, mate. Oh. Go away! Oh, Jesus Christ. Rude. Oh my god, have you seen um wait, we're gonna go back in there. Have you seen the little there's a little sketch of the hippo model down here on the ground? Ah, it's so cute! How to draw a hippo. She's definitely padded that bra though, I'll tell you that for free. Uh, Strangle Throat says that is one sexy hippo. I mean, do you get. Like, I know you get furries, but is there a subset of furries that are like pachyderms? You know, people who dress up as elephants and hippos and, and things like that. Kitty, fr Kitty freaking cat in chat is. Is that a booty hole? <laughs> Oy. Oh my god, I absolutely love. I love this room. I love all the carrots and I love that they grow vegetables indoors. That's cool. Mm. So cute. You're in a desert. There's a way to get there in the south, but you not, might not be able to get through if that lazy walrus is in the way. Scalies. Ah, you get scalies. Okay. So you get scalies and mammals. See, we're learning everything today. So you get furries, scalies, and mammals. What about fishies? Do you get fishies? I guess they'd come under scalies. I can't go to Maybe Village because of all the monsters. I hope Marin's all right. Oh yeah, we need to bring Mary him here, here for a little sing song. <gasps> Look at the bear! He's a big bear! He's gonna ask for the honeycomb as well. Oh my God, guys! Look at this bear. He looks so happy. Also reminds me, I really need to buy some oven gloves. I've burnt the crap out of my oven gloves, and I don't have any. Um, so. Hi. Hey you, is it possible to have, uh, is that possibly a honeycomb you have? I just ran out, will you swap it for a pineapple? Yes. Yes. Uh, it's not as sweet, but it is delicious. I know, that top of goo is asleep right in the way to Yarno Desert. Once he's asleep, he won't budge for a long time. But hey, take little Marin and wake him up with her singing, okay. That slob would wake up with a jump if you heard her sing for sure. <laughs> b -b 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 -er. My ultimate plan is to open a branch in maybe village. I would be your loyal customer, my friend. Loyalist of loyal customers. But yeah. Right, we are going to open up this teleporter. Okay, so we got one. Martha's Bay, Yukuku Prairie, and the seashell, a May and Sean. Um, right, one thing I'm gonna try is ye old dream hut up here. Do, do, do. <laughs> Tormatic says she's not messed up, but Kim is. Absolutely correct, my friend. Right, dream shrine. What's gonna happen here? <laughs> Here we go. Where are we gonna be? Oh, I forgot about this. Uh, let's have a quick run. Again, I feel like this is where Animal Crossing comes in with the little like weird statues that you get. The, what's that? what are they called? What are those statues in Animal Crossing called? The ones that really freak you out. Ow. But yeah, that's what these things remind me of. Oh, there's an ocarina. And a hundred rupees. I am happy. This is my happy face. Look at me, I'm so happy. And an ocarina. Ooh. 
you want ocarina you should uh learn to play many songs thanks just you should again people telling me what to do well thanks dream shrine the gyroids that's it i once read a um spooky fan story that basically made out that gyroids in animal crossing were the sort of tortured remains of um other villagers if they don't pay Tom Nook back. And uh, they had it in the story that if you listen, you could hear the wind whistle through them at night. That's some dark stuff. That's some dark stuff. That's messed up, son. That's messed up. Uh, how much is this? 200. Okay, we're going to get that. We're going to buy that. Yeah, so normally you could run out and steal it. But no, we're going to be good boys. And we're going to buy it. <laughs> Thank you. Come again. Uh, come on, Marin. Not Marin. Taryn. No, it is Marin. Taryn's the dad. Here we go. Oh, Link. I'm glad you found this place. Will you stay and talk to me for a while? Yes. Here we go. We're going to have a nice little moment. Oh, I remember this cutscene from the Game Boy version. It blew my mind because I was like, <gasps> a cutscene on Game Boy? <laughs> Taryn says there is nothing beyond the sea. I came from beyond the sea, though. But I believe there must be something over there. When I discovered you, Link, my heart skipped a beat. I thought this person has come to give us a message. There is no hope. Brexit is a lie. The world is flat. Wait. If I was a seagull, I would fly as far as I could. I would fly to faraway places and sing for many people. If I wish to the sh uh, windfish, I wonder if my dream will come true. Is she hitting on me? Hey, are you listening? Link, are you listening to me? Yes, I am listening to you. I'm just staring at the seagulls. Gull, gull. I want to know everything about you. Ooh. My name is Link. Uh, I'm a reincarnation of many Links. And there's this guy called Ganondorf who keeps trying to kill me in many timelines and, and many planets. Um, awkward. Well, that's weird. You got Marin. Is this your big chance? Lifting her up. That's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. Do not do this to girls. Do do not do not do this to girls. Please don't. Don't don't do this. It's it's not it's not how you're gonna get hot dates. Right up that skirt. I know, right? Oh my god, how cute is this music? This music, fucking brilliant. Do you think this is the flute part that that guy was talking about on Twitter? I love this, I can't say anything. Frack. Nope, I just bombed into it. Nope. There we go. Oh, she can just jump. Cash. Just cash. <laughs> Oi, Trot! I've got a bird here. He's going to sing a song to you. Let's give him a little surprise. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's getting a bit excited. Oh. Bye, troll. <laughs> wow, he suddenly woke up with a start. <gasps> oh, he's calling me. Same as always. Link, I'm going to the animal village. Please drop by, okay? Okay, boo. So now, I think if we go back to the village, 
that she's suddenly sprinted to. Then. Yeah, she's doing a little recital. Oh my god, look at this little bear. He's a little bear. And a toucan. Let's go where we just opened up to the desert. Now stab her while you have your chance. Dude, why do you want me to keep stabbing not Zelda, fake Zelda? Uh, Granny Trail says set up a sound system in the bear pit. Ah, a fellow Bristolian, I see. Bristolian. What are you doing in Bristol? Do you live here or are you a student? Filthy student. I want to join them. Um, so Mark's talking about doing some uh, World of Warcraft uh, RP in. Like he's setting up an RP guild. And I want to join, but he's streaming at weird times. Ow. Has he done it? I don't think he's done it yet. I think he's doing it tonight. Sea bears foam. Sea bears dreams. Wait, hold on a minute. <laughs> I thought he meant sea bears as in a bear from the sea. So yeah. But he means bears as in it makes. Sea makes foam. Uh, dreams. They both end the same way. Crash! Yeah, that was fucking dark, dude. Thanks. Cheers, then. <sighs> yep. Sea bear, the ultimate predator. Do I have bombs? I don't have any sodding bombs. Hello, will you give me some bombs? Nope, that's a rupee. Yep. I need some ba -ba -ba bombs. Would running at the wall hard enough work? Probably not. Nope. I need some ba 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 bombs. I'm always running out of bombs. Cav says, I assume you would already be in a WoW guild, Kim. I am. I am in Casuals Guild, as in Casual Gamer. Um, oh, that doesn't look good. Annoyance. You are only getting in the way. All right, Mum. Um, yeah, I am. I am part of Casual Gamers Guild. The filthy casuals. But I can just roll a new character. Or maybe I'll just join Mark as my existing character. Yep. Come on then. Gosh, Zelda really does have a type, doesn't it? And they, they really freaking love the earwig bugs. The jumping out of the desert bugs. Like, pretty much every game has one of these in it. Ryan the Leech says, is it ye old goon squad or some other RP guild? Uh, no, Mark is setting up his own guild. We're not, we're not um, members of ye old goon squad. Like, Ye Old Goon Squad are a hardcore guild, and there is no way I'm good enough to be in Goon Squad. Lol. Take! I got the fish key! Oh, so I can go into the... Oh, Lord. I can go into, um... That dungeon. Presumably... The one that is over here! But then surely I need some flippy floppies because I'm going to drown otherwise. I am going to drown. Talkmatic says they look mousy and yeah, well. I don't want to be in Goon Squad. I'm in Goon Squad on the other server. In WoW Retail. Uh, Hoot, the shape of the, uh, the key shows a fish swimming up a cascade of water. 
Go now to the mountain waterfall. A leap from the top and you will reach your goal. What? Say what now? <laughs> nope. Oh! Owlboy's back. Hoot, there are two shrines, one to the north and the other to the south. Thus, head south, where ancient ruins speak of the windfish. You will learn much there. But you told me to come to the waterfall, and this is waterfally. God damn it. Because I just remembered we have an ocarina. An ocarina. <laughs> it's an ocarina, but you don't know how to play it. Well, let's see. Can I... Teach me how to play. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's a nice ocarina you have there. Will you accompany as my si uh, me as I sing? Let's do it. Here we go, boys. I love a good harmony. Love a good harmony. Does it stick in your mind? Yes, it does. Better than the uh, Animal Village song. I've learned the Ballad of the Windfish. This song will always remain in your heart. Aww. Please don't ever forget this song or me. I'll never forget you, Marin. Instantly forgets you as soon as you get off the island. Secrets are like water when it comes to bridges. Okay, cool. So I'm guessing that means I need to... <laughs> what was that sound? Did you hear that? From the Zora. <laughs> All right, gee whiz. Point taken, you don't want me to be here, mate. I get it. So the windfish slumbers long, the hero's life is gone. Wait, what? Are you telling me I'm dying because that big boy, big boy is uh, having a sleep? Oh, here we go. Um. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. I think I am looking. Yes, thank you. Oh, there's a temple there. There's a temple there. But I need to get to the waterfall at the top and jump off of it. So, yeah. Um, I don't like... Yeah, there we go. There we go. I always hate the walking freaking statues in this. Hate them. Don't like them. Never liked them. Never will like them. Something about animated suits of armor, man. It's just not for me. Come on, move out of the way, friend. Move out of my way. Oh, he's boxed me in a corner. Nope. Nope. Shoot. Nope. I'm the wrong way. Oh wait, no, I've got to get this one out, haven't I? I don't even know why I'm going this way. Just have a look. Just have a look. Because it's there, isn't it? Out my way. Uh, bow and arrow, hint, hint. Yeah, I know, but I haven't bought the bow and arrow yet. But maybe I will. Or maybe I'll steal it and become a thief. But I can't do it. I can't bring myself to do it. I can't bring myself to be a thief. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy who's been brought up to be a good boy. Uh, thank you to uh, Vendico for subscribing. What's that? 
No, it's just the music. In I thought for a minute Milo was meowing, but it's not. It's just the music in here. So, yeah. Also, why is this game sassing me? Oh, Lord. I was not ready. I was not ready. And he's a scary one. Oh, don't I need a bow and arrow to deal with this dickhead? Oh, crap. Oh, this is going to go bad. This is going to go real bad. Yep. It's going to go real bad. Yep. I've made a mistake. Oh, yep. I really need to not be in here. He's going to murder me. He's going to murder my face. Yep. It's the end. My only friend. It's fine. I don't think I should be here. <laughs> I need bow and arrow. It is doable. Yeah, not when you're an idiot like me. How many rupees do I have? Try jumping before he lands. Okay. Maybe I will try it then. Maybe I will try it. Thanks to you, Popple. Thanks to you having the faith in me. You just had to concentrate, Kim. Oh, thank you. You all believed. See? That's what happens when you believe. You just gotta believe. Oh, what a prick. Ooh, what this? <gasps> it's ancient ruins. To the finder, the Isle of Koholint is but an illusion. Human, monster, sky, sea, sky... A scene on the lid of the sleeper's eye. Awake the dreamer and Koholint will vanish much like a bubble on a needle. Cast away. You should know the truth. What? Uh, so we're going to doom an entire island if we wake up the windfish. That's um, messed up. Also, isn't it creepy that there's an ancient ruin with a direct message towards me on it? Bit creepy. Bit, bit creepy. So yeah, apparently I should have done this after the fifth dungeon. Whatever. Then you know, I'm like a pro gamer. Pro gamer. I'm probably going to die straight away. Oh, here he comes, Mr. Alface. Do you want to explain yourself, Alface? Because I saw yourself on that ruin there. I see you have read the relief. While it does say the island is but a dream of the windfish, no one is really sure. Just as you cannot know if a chest holds treasure until you open it, so you cannot tell if this dream is a dream until you awaken. <coughs> Only one who knows for sure is the windfish. <coughs> Trust your feelings. Someday you will discover the answer. I mean, it's going to be soon, isn't it? Because I'm literally going to open this up soon. Bye, fluff face. <coughs> 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 Oh yeah, some classic mountain music now. But yeah, I'd, I'd love to play um, Spirit Tracks because I never properly played that one. I'd love to play... Um, stop that. I'd love to play... What is it? Spirit Tracks, Phantom Hourglass, the Oracle ones. So I uh, I actually bought a dirty um, illegal cartridge of um, the Oracle ones. <laughs> I was naughty and I bought a pirated copy. Ow. What the flipper? It's fine. It's fine. Ow. 
Ow, stop that. Backlog says, I hear the Oracle games are one of the few games that don't reset the game to mid peril after the last boss. Is that accurate? I don't know. I've never played them. Or at least I did play it a long time ago. Long time ago. I need a hook shot to get over there, won't I? Yes. Uh, Eny uh, Gimma Show. Sorry, I've butchered your name. Says in chat, Spirit Tracks is really fun. That's one of the first Zelda games I've ever played. A lot of nostalgia for it. Never played Phantom Hourglass, though. Oink. Pop, pop, pop. Recon1000 says, I gotta go now and have a lie down because headaches. But thanks to the entertainment, Kim. It was fun. Thank you. Oh, there's a guy who needs help there. Thank you for tuning in, friend. And I hope your headache goes away soon. Through the healing power of sleep. I thoroughly believe in the healing power of sleep. Whoop. You cheeky git. Cheeky fake chest. Hello, person who needs help. Who are you then? Ah. Papal. Yep, Papal got lost, just like he said. Now I'm so famished, I can't move. Can you give me some vittles? Uh, oh, yeah, pineapple. This pineapple's so delicious, I'm going to eat it right now. That's me when I eat pineapple. Actually, I've got a watermelon in the fridge I really need to eat. Ah, oh, this wasn't meant to be a reward. Here, take this. It's a hibiscus. You know who else likes hibiscus? That goat in Animal Village. Yeah. So this is it. Okay, so it's going to be, we need to give the hibiscus to the goat who gives us a letter for Mr. Wright, who gives us a broom for uh, the lady in the uh, maybe village. What a good boy. Ate it all. I'm a lifesaver. How do you know my name? How do you know my name, Rudo? Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Boink. Boink. Phoenix Hunter says everyone calls me thief in this game because I stole the ball. Bo. Lol. That's why you shouldn't. You should be a good boy, not a bad boy. Now I know the. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna walk over there. And I forgot. I don't have the uh, little thingies yet. Whoopsie. So we go down this way. <laughs> 